My uh, playing history began um, as a junior in Brisbane. So I played with the Brisbane Strikers and Brisbane Olympic there as a young boy and I eventually made my uh, professional beginnings in Gold Coast United in 2009. Spent a bit of time in Gold, uh, at the Gold Coast United, uh, then with Melbourne City which was known as Melbourne Heart and after that I went to uh, Western Sydney Wanderers and Europe and now I'm back in Australia. So When I first started playing, um, it started with a group of mates of mine. We all went to a school together and we played together at school and we played together at a club level. And I loved it, I enjoyed it. Um, that's why I played the game. It wasn't until I was older, probably a little bit later in life, that I, I kind of wanted to take it more seriously professionally. And But I, I love playing football with my friends. That's that's the key for me, to uh, to be doing it with people that you, you enjoy training playing with and having a good time. So I've spent here about a week now with the boys training and um, it's been a good experience for me. It's been a pleasant surprise. We've got some uh, players that are very talented, but at the same time, um, the setup is, I guess what I was told before I came to the club by, by Zoki, the head coach and the management, that it's a professional environment. And um, I wasn't sure what to expect because this is my first time at this level and, and I've been thoroughly impressed and enjoying it as well. So the boys are great, great bunch of uh, young young players that have a lot of talent, but also a bit of personality and character. So that makes training a bit more fun and enjoyable as well. But yeah, I've kind of the last couple of years in my career, I've kind of known that um, I've been playing professionally for quite a while now and um, so I like to enjoy myself and, and, and be part of the group and um, but when it's time as well, you know, lend my experience to help the group be better. First and foremost by, by making sure that I'm performing and doing the best that I can and whatever experience I have to lay that on to the younger players if it can be of any help. But um, I, look, I look at myself like a young cub. <laughs> I try to play like a young person, play with that joy that, that's kept me going through all these years and now I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying being amongst the group. The club has been very clear from the moment I've come here that they, they want to be there winning titles and competing for titles um, and that's the primary goal. So everything that I'm here to achieve is to help the club achieve that and help the boys achieve that as a group. So that's my primary focus. But along that road, it, it takes, there's a lot of steps to get there and hopefully I can bring that professionalism to the to the team, that experience, that cool head. The season has been a little bit uh, up and down for the group, I would say. So hopefully to help bring that consistency to the team. But at the end of the day, it's about winning games, scoring goals and, and winning winning games will help us win the title. And, and that's, that's why I'm here. That's what I want to help the club achieve. And I went into the changing room on game day. I was thinking, you guys want to turn it down a bit so you can focus, but they love, they love getting going. Uh, I'm, I'm more easy, mate. I don't really listen to music too much, to be honest with you. I like to have a, a bit of a clear head, but there's no specific genre that I'm into. I'm, if I do listen to music, it's a bit of everything. So nothing specific, to be honest. I'm more about my routine. So basically, whatever it is that I do before training, whatever it is I do before games, I like to have that in check and make sure that's all in order. But with my boots, as long as they're clean and ready to go, mate, uh, it doesn't really matter. As long as I'm comfortable, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the club had uh, got wind that I was in town. I had an opportunity to go overseas uh, to play professionally, but for family reasons, I chose to come back here to Australia. Um, and when Zoc, I guess, heard about that, he gave me a call and, and wanted to meet face to face. And to be honest, I uh, didn't have too much expectations, but after that meeting, I knew I knew that uh, he had ambitions for the club. He's a, he's a serious man and it seemed like it was a good home for me. And from that conversation, we got the ball rolling and now I'm here as an Avondale player and um, waiting for the window to open so I can help the team and the club. So that's how that came about, yeah. So my family are in Brisbane because that's where I grew up, the majority of them. Um, <coughs> so I have a big family. I'm one of seven, uh, one of seven kids. So I've got six brothers and sisters all together. And um, and my, my partner, she, she's here in Melbourne. She works here, her family's here. But from my time in, in uh, Melbourne, I used to always come back here on my holidays because I have friends, good friends, there's a bit of work that I do uh, off the field here in Melbourne as well. Um, I have a church community that I'm part of, which is very important to me. It's it's for all those reasons that why I decided to come back to Australia. So yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying my life, and hopefully I can uh, continue that on the pitch and bring some success. Yeah.